Hey, what's up guys? Joe here with Vision Network. And some of my partners have requested that I show them how to make a green screen video. Uh, some wanted to see my setup and my equipment and get a better understanding of how all this works. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make a good quality green screen video, my equipment, my setup, and even the editing software while I share my screen and show you how I edit the video itself. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and find this helpful. Please leave your comments in the comment section below and tell me how I did and let me know if you have any further questions. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, here we are at part two of the video. I'm showing you my setup. I've got a, a six by nine green screen. It's folded in half and tacked onto the wall with thumbtacks. I don't have enough space up here to unfold it and uh, expose the entire length and width of the cloth, but this is a green screen that I bought online for $28 through walmart.com and the lights, I bought them online at a photography uh, studio online, they were $50, you get three lights, one uh, short one and two fully adjustable uh, tall ones. They come with light, uh, light shades to uh, help soften the light, but I found that for uh, my purpose they, they work better without the shades on them. Now I'm shooting this video with an old school Sanyo uh, LCD camera. It's a 480p. The, the uh, quality is not that great, but I can't shoot a video like this with my, with, my la uh, with my webcam because obviously it needs to be hooked up to my computer with a USB cord. So I'm shooting it with this one. This is my tripod. It's just a, I would say a medium duty uh, adjustable tripod. I paid $15 for it. You can pick up a tripod like this at any of the big box stores like a Walmart or something in the camera and video section. There's nothing fancy about it. <clears throat> and the software that I use is Camtasia Studio 8. So I have a chair here in front of the green screen. As you can see, I normally sit down only because of lighting and the height that I have the green screen mounted on the wall with. One thing that's very important to note is that the chair where I sit is about even, well, once I sit in the chair I'm about even with the lights and the lights shine behind me. They don't shine on me, they shine on the green screen itself. The reason that's so important is because if you have the, shites, the, the lights shining on you then you'll cast a shadow on the green screen and when you do the editing it's going to be really hard to remove the chroma, or use the chroma key to remove the green screen because you're your shadow is going to cause a lot of fuzziness in the video. So that is the setup. Lights cost about $50. Green screen, $28. And the tripod, $15. And this camera, I don't know how much it cost. It's old. I probably would say it was about 50 bucks. I was looking at cameras the other day at Walmart and you can get a really good 1080p handheld vlogging camera nowadays for under $100. So I would suggest getting one of those to start out with until you can afford uh, something a little bit better. All right guys, well, we're gonna move on to the next phase of the video and we'll see you there. Hey guys, here we are in the next phase of the video and here I'm zoomed in so you can see me sitting in front of the green screen. I've already showed you the setup, what this looks like with the camera zoomed out. I've already showed you the equipment that I have and uh, how I have the green screen mounted on the wall and such. And the next phase is I'm going to show you how I edit the video. I'm going to share my screen with you on my computer as I edit this video. So I'm going to sit here for a few minutes, basically not doing anything, but you're not going to, you're not going to go through all that with me because that's going to show up in the, uh, in the video editing. But I'm going to sit here for a few minutes just to give us something to work with while I add this to the editing software. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you found it helpful, please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or comments or anything, please let me know. I'd be glad to help you. I know some of our partners have been asking lately how I do green screen videos, what to get and how to set it up, questions about the lighting and things. So I wanted to help you guys. That's what we're here for. So please let me know how I did in the comments, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys. Here we are at the final phase of the video. What I'm doing now, I'm recording my screen. I'm using Camtasia Studio 8. This is the full premium version. And to save a little bit of time, I've already added all of the video clips. I have three video clips. I have my, my Vision Network intro, 
I've got my music that I usually use in the background of my videos. I always use the same song. And then I've got the the photo or the image that I'm going to use uh, when I remove the chroma key. And I've already trimmed down some of the files to remove some of the stuff that didn't make the final cut for the video. Um, so this is the timeline where I, where I have the files dropped into. This uh, software is similar to Sony Vegas, except I find it a lot more simplified and easy to use. And what we have here is 5 minutes and 14 seconds of video. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and bring in the intro. Uh, before we go any further. So I've got to scoot these down. I'm going to drag and drop the intro. Scoot these back down. And then I'm, I'm going to add the music in after the video. I'm not going to uh, do that while, while we edit this to try to save a little bit of time. I don't want the video to be really long. So um, Let's move forward. Okay, so this is the part of the video where I'm going to uh, demonstrate how I use the chroma key feature. And so uh, first, let me go ahead and drag and drop in the photograph image that I want to use. Let me line it up here. Now, it's on top right now. It needs to be on the bottom. So I'm going to move these other files above it and then bring it back down whoa all right all right so now since my um video is on top of the image that we want to show in the video I'm going to need to remove the green screen so I'm going to use the chroma key feature in Camtasia and it's under visual properties I'll click that alright so once we've clicked on visual properties if you see these uh, little buttons over here one says remove color so we're going to remove color let's reset that okay so I have, there's a color swatch here. If you click on color, it'll open up all these color swatches. I recommend using the color selector, which is a little eyedropper, because the computer sees the green screen in a, in a ton of different shades. The human eye is only going to see it as being green. But even here, if you look, you can see the lower left-hand corner is a little bit darker. And then you've got a little bit of shadowing up here in the upper right and the lower right. So I'm going to use the eyedropper. And I'm going to remove the green in the most consistent green area that I can find. And now I've removed the green from the video. Now what we need to do is fine tune it a little bit. So I'm going to try to remove, you see the slider, how it makes me transparent. Moves me in and out. We want all the green gone. I keep sliding that there. And you've got the softness. It'll also make me kind of disappear. I want that image to be hard, not soft, or not transparent. Then you got the hue. I can change my color a little bit. I'll, usually, it always has to be slid completely over to the left. And then defringe usually just gets the little shadows around the edges. And then <clears throat> I'm not going to use my image full size. So let's go ahead and lock this timeline down here for the Hollywood image so we don't mess with that. And then we've got this chosen here. And we're going to make myself a little bit smaller. I think that ought to look good right there. And then we'll play it. Alright, so you guys, I don't know if you can hear my voice coming through the speakers. I didn't want that to play in the video, so... Um, that's basically how to look. Let me go to audio and turn my audio down here. That way we can play it for a moment and you can see how I look. Now granted this video is being shot with an older camera. It only shoots in 480p um, and it looks a little laggy right now too in the screen because my computer um, 
is a piece of crap. <laughs> anyway, um, once we render this video, it'll be a lot more smooth. And this image is in 1080p in the background, so it'll look really nice. I'm going to render the video in 1080p. Um, I've loaded the, the video clips into Camtasia as 720, although they're native 480. So uh, it should look pretty good when we're done. And the finished product will have a little music in the background. And it'll also have, oh, I need to put in, let's go ahead and put in the, um, the Vision Network uh, watermark. Alright, so let's drag and drop that puppy in here. And we will put it down in the lower left hand corner, make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Watermark. There's me acting silly in the rest of the video. Alright guys, I'm going to end this now. I don't want the video to be too long because I know a lot of you are not going to want to set through a 20 minute video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. And we will see you guys next time.